guys welcome to my healthy kitchen today today we're going to make super creamy extremely delicious a uh, silky and peanut buttery chocolate peanut butter cake it will be a uh, raw plant based no gluten no soy and no refined sugar i will show you how to make this beautiful even layers and of course i will show you how to decorate these goodies so I hope you will love this journey. Let's get started. We will be making a cake into a 6 inch mold. It's 15 centimeters mold. I love to use stainless steel rings. I have a parchment paper on the bottom and a acetate strip. Uh, to unmold this cake very very fast and I have a separate video about all molds that can be used for raw cakes so please watch it before asking me a lot of questions about the molds like all raw cakes we start to work with the crust for the crust I'm going to use walnuts but right now I need to a very boiled water. I want to uh, pour boiled water into this bowl. Let's do it. While I'm waiting for uh, boiled water, I will tell you that we're going to use a little bit of dates. It's In total, it's five dates or about 80 uh, grams. So I use medjool dates. Um, good quality cacao powder. It gives us a beautiful chocolate flavor. A little bit of sweetener and coconut oil. Coconut oil is already melted and not still uh, measured so I'm going to put two tablespoons later into my mm, food processor and then we will blend everything the main flavor of our cake will be given by peanut butter this brand I love very much mm, but uh, don't try to find the same brand so the main thing that you need to find uh, the jar with the peanut butter without anything inside so please check ingredient list so here i have organic roasted peanuts and a little bit of salt very often i can find in the market the uh, um, peanut butters with the palm oil canola oil with uh, sugar with high fructose syrup so we don't need those peanut butters also doesn't matter if it's a crunchy peanut butter or smooth we will smooth it anyway into the high-speed blender. So just uh, pay attention to ingredient list of your peanut butter jar. So here is my boiled water. I poured uh, inside of uh, the bowl with raw walnuts. And I leave it just for a couple of minutes. Why we do it? So first of all, we clean our nuts. Second, I want to make them a little bit more soft for our crust. In overall, our cake will be quite soft and the crust I don't want to make super crunchy. And no worries uh, that uh, our cake uh, becoming not raw. It is still raw because we do not leave it for a long time. So you see just one minute while I was talking with you and now we stir it we strain it and be very careful it's hot and rinse it and now we have absolutely clean walnuts for our crust let's we put them into our food processor this is the first ingredient that we put into food processor. Please also pay attention to this. I put a pinch of salt and all our amount of cacao powder. Now we need to crush our walnuts into small pieces. Not into the cream or butter, so just small pieces. That is all. Let's see. No, still big pieces I want to do it like maybe five six more times great we will continue to blend so that's why it's okay we pour our sweetener right now two tablespoons of coconut oil and our dates without pits let's we blend everything so your food processor uh, we'll, we'll get stuck like in five seconds, maybe in two seconds. It's okay. 
we will mix everything by hand that's why i i'm in gloves right now you can mix it by hands right now in the uh, food processor if you feel big pieces of dates just uh, squeeze it and try to to puree it <laughs> here is our mold and let's we put everything here press with your fingers and create an even crust it's very soft i love this crust very much so here's our crust we set it aside and now let's create our peanut butter smoothly smoothly and delicious cream let's make our filling so first we put into our high speed blender a uh, very delicious peanut butter it will give us the main flavor of our cake without anything additional inside then i'm going to put my sweetener my maple syrup perfect next one is a plant-based milk you can use any plant-based milk that you have at home i will be using my oat milk i'm obsessed with oat milk last time put our milk and our soaked and rinsed cashews um, if you make first time raw cake and you never saw my videos before i always say that you need to pre-soak your uh, cashews into the uh, clean water water that you drink uh, for about four hours i would say not about minimum four hours then you rinse it strain it and then put absolutely clean and soft nuts into your high speed blender so here you are we're ready to blend everything we also have coconut oil melted coconut oil and we will add it uh, once we receive completely smooth consistency inside of our jar let's do it once you see absolutely smooth and silky consistency into your jar now you can add coconut oil if you don't have a hole into your uh, blender to um, pour slowly coconut oil just pour coconut oil right now if you have it like i have with the vitamix for example we make a swirl we should see a swirl on top and inside of the swirl we pour our coconut oil slowly Okay, if such happened that you see we don't see a swirl and our coconut oil is on top, we just need to open the blade and give it to breeze. Up. And now we should see swirl again. So that is all. This is what we wanted to achieve. Uh, a very thick consistency of our cream. If you have a very, very, like, not bad not i can't say bad if you have a not powerful uh, blender you can add up to two tablespoons of milk to help it to blend if you can if you're quite patient and um you ready to work longer uh, please make this super thick consistency you will see how it's delicious in the cake it's it's absolutely amazing now we need kitchen scales and our mold now is everything about your um, desires you can make chocolate layer and then peanut butter layer layer i will be doing it right now or you can switch it you can pour uh, right now peanut butter layer and then chocolate layer so because i want to pour a uh, peanut butter layer on top i need to reserve it so right now i have a separate bowl and i want to uh, like reserve 350 grams for top layer what i do with this i need a plastic wrap cover it with the plastic wrap and leave in room temperature until your first layer will be set so it's for about one hour one and a half hours but please no longer we don't want that our cream will be spoiled <laughs> now i put my uh, jar with the cream peanut butter cream on top of my blender i pour two tablespoons of milk and uh, cacao powder and we will create a chocolate layer let's blend everything 
So you saw we needed just a, li just a little bit of time. We stopped two times to open the blade because our cream is super thick. But this is what make a difference between regular raw cakes that you maybe sometime tried and they were super watery like a sorbet and real creamy, super thick raw cakes. So now we need to pour the cream as a first layer on top of our crust. So if you can, do not add additional liquid. It would be amazing. So we need to pour 350 grams. Here you are. So if you want to have absolutely even layers, chocolate layer and peanut butter layer, even though you have some leftovers, eat it by spoon. <laughs> but do not pour more. If you don't care about even layers, pour everything. You may see how it's creamy. Here you are, I just put it for you to show that we pour uh, 350 grams. Here you are, here's our first layer. I move it to the freezer for uh, one hour, one hour and a half, and then we will put on top this cream. And Honestly, that is all. Okay, we are ready to pour the second layer. I just want to show you that I waited for about one and a half hours and my cream is quite hard. It means that we can pour the second layer. Let's open it. We need to stir it a little bit. It is still so, so thick. Let's we try to make a flat layer. We can top a few times, but there is no honestly any air bubbles. Usually we tap to remove air bubbles from the mousse, but it's so thick that <laughs> there is no reason to top. So we honestly finish with the main part of the cake. We move it to the freezer uh, for about uh, three, four hours or overnight. And tomorrow we will unmold it and decorate it. And that is all. We almost finished. So my cake was in the freezer overnight. And now I want to remove the mold, put my cake on the serving plate and decorate it. So let's redo it. First, I remove my parchment paper. And I want to put my cake on the cake board. Half of a second to unmold it. So that's why I love to use acetate strip. And let's we see on these professional borders. So here you are. Our peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter cake is ready. What about decoration? So, if you're on rush and you don't want to make a super fancy decoration, uh, just probably sprinkle it with the crushed peanuts or maybe even whole peanuts and it will be visible that it's a peanut butter cake. But if you want to make it like in my Instagram and uh, to make it with those old chocolate goodies on top, I have a separate video how to make it. It's super easy to do, just you need to spend some time for it and wait a little bit while it will be set. And here you are. Here is all those goodies from the video. So I showed you all my secrets how to make it. Honestly, it's so easy to make. And now let's we put everything on top of our cake. For this, I need just a little bit of melted uh, chocolate. So here is my melted chocolate. You don't need to um, uh, temper it. So it's just about like 30 grams of chocolate. We need it to uh, stick all our like beautiful goodies with the, our cake. So if we just put it right now, so when you start to move your cake, everything will fall down. We, we want to secure it. So here's my chocolate and let's get started. 
There is no rule how to put it. So turn on your imagination and do how you want. I just show you how I do it by myself. Usually I start with the big classic chocolate peanut butter cup. Then I put a few of these butter cups. One, two, and three. But I need them to stick them. So let's say we put one here. And the last one. Now let's we put our truffle here. It will look beautiful and in contrast with the dark one piece. Then we can put a few pieces of uh, inside out buttercups. One, two. And let's arrange our chocolate pieces. And let me take away extra chocolate. I want to create some drizzles to finish it. And we can sprinkle a little bit with the crushed peanuts. We can sprinkle everywhere. Once our cake will be defrosted, they, these nuts will stick with the top layer. I think we finished. This is our cake. So here you go, we finished with the, our chocolate peanut butter cake. Now it is completely frozen, please leave it in the refrigerator for about 3-4 hours and it will be fully defrosted and you can easily to cut it and enjoy. Thank you for being with me, I hope you love, you will love this cake, you will love this flavor and super creamy texture. And let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. Thank you, bye!